Do you know someone that snores or even stops breathing at night? Do they wake up from a deep sleep gasping for air? Well, if so, they may be among the 18 million Americans with a disorder called sleep apnea. Well, there are devices and treatments available to help mild cases. For those more severe patients, a local doctor has a surgery option that could help save their life. You wouldn't know it now, but Lupe Ramos Jr. stopped breathing hundreds of times a day. Not when he was awake, but when he was asleep. I felt tired all the time, uh, like I didn't get enough sleep. I, I guess because of losing air at night, not being able to breathe. Lupe had obstructive sleep apnea. During the day, muscles in the throat kept his passage wide open. But as he fell asleep, these muscles relaxed to a point where the airway collapses and becomes obstructed. When his airway closed, breathing stopped, and he woke up to breathe. Your nervous system wakes you up out of deep sleep when you stop breathing at night. And it's these awakenings created by the apnea that give you the tired syndrome. And I would just pop up out of bed and just walk around grasping for air, almost passing out. And it's a scary moment. It's very scary. Lupe and his wife Terry were so concerned they sought medical help. With those experiences, that, that made me uh, decide to do something about it. And that's when I called and took care of the sleep study, and, and they referred me to Dr. Sherman. OK, go ahead and lie down. During the sleep study, Lupe found out just how bad his condition was. When he had the sleep study done, we realized that he was um, only breathing 49% of the time. So he would stop breathing 49 times in one hour. If the patient has true apnea, then my first recommendation is always to go on a CPAP mask or a pressure mask. And what this does is it determines whether or not you stop breathing at night and kind of gives you a puff of air to get your breathing. But Lupe failed the CPAP mask. Dr. Sherman only does surgery on severe apnea patients who fail the CPAP, so he suggested a procedure he perfected to help patients like Lupe. What we do is we remove the tonsils and allow the side walls to be opened up and remove a portion of the palate and the uvula to open this area or the oral port. In addition, what we do is we treat the back of the tongue in this region with microwave energy for full treatments. The protocol I use or the um, technique that I use is based on techniques developed at Stanford University and University of Chicago. I don't do it identically, I do it uh, based on theirs and my technique seems to give me a good response because I concentrate mostly on getting the tongue to be firmer. Dr. Sherman's technique involves the first surgery and tongue treatment as well as three follow-up tongue treatments about eight weeks apart. The first surgery is pretty uh, intense uh, uh, but uh, it's kind of sore, some pain. Uh, you got to follow the, the the medications you get prescribed and to a to a T. Not only was Dr. Sherman very clear in helping us to understand what the consequences were if Loopy didn't go through these surgeries, it was at each surgery he knew exactly what we were going to expect. He prepared us. He he knew right down to you know how many days it would take till he start feeling better. We do the initial surgery. You have two weeks of rough recovery. I, I make no bones about it. Okay, this is not an operation uh, that is comfortable, and you're doing it because you really need it. Now that Lupe's finished his treatments, his life has changed dramatically. I'm sure I still snore, but uh, as far as the breathing, and I mean I don't feel fatigued anymore, tired. I'm able to watch movies now. Right. I'm able to do things, and and no more waking up in the middle of the night and. Uh, we're gasping for air. Yes, here's a great example. Her RDI is 79.2. Um, 79 times an hour this woman obstructs. Dr. Sherman says obstructive sleep apnea is nothing to take lightly. This is very dangerous because the risk of sudden heart attack, stroke, etc. goes markedly up in a patient whose oxygen is going that low. Uh, the doctor said if I don't take care of this, uh, which I'm in my late 40s, he said by the time I'm 50 I, I'm uh, susceptible for a heart attack and in my sleep and that's something uh, my family my, you know, doesn't need. Dr. Sherman says the success of his technique using surgery and tongue treatments is about 80 percent. I, I will be grateful to Dr. Sherman my whole life for everything he's done for us. It's, he's, he's changed our lives. Such a blessing.
Obstructive sleep apnea is a potentially serious problem for any patient. If you or someone you love is experiencing any of the symptoms, talk to your doctor.